Welcome to my channel where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy, and development in Nigeria and around the world. Malam Nasir Erufa, former governor of Kaduna State, love him or hate him. One thing you cannot take away from him is his capacity to say his mind. No matter whose ox is God. Even though the governor, former governor, was in the news lately because of the investigation of his administration by the State House of Assembly, especially in, uh, as, uh, with regards to the uh, humongous loans they accuse him of collecting on behalf of the state for which the his successor Obasani has cried out that he's finding it difficult to settle this loan and uh, do other activities that is expected of a state government. But there is something that Erufai said recently that is of interest. Erufai is somebody who is close to this administration. He was instrumental in Tunubu, imagine the president of Nigeria, one way or the other. Nobody can take it away from Erofi. So Erofi is highly connected. He has ears to the ground. Of course, there is still controversy over why he was denied a ministerial position. A ministerial position that even before Tinubu won the election, he had literally promised Erofi. But that is a story for another day. Erofi said that President Bola made Tinubu administration is estimated to have paid over 8 trillion naira as subsidy on fuel. Now, the former governor, who is not known to throw numbers around anyhow, given his pedigree, insisted that the Tinubu administration is paying fuel subsidy today higher than ever before. And uh, he backed his position by saying, that if not for subsidy that, that are being paid by the Tinubu administration, that the price of fuel or PMS would have been higher than 1,000 Naira, which is about the price of diesel in Nigeria today. So he alleged that about 8 trillion naira is being paid as fuel subsidy by this administration. Now, it is instructive to note that the government of President Bola Metinubu is telling everyone who cares to listen that he doesn't pay fuel subsidy. In fact, the, the swearing in ceremony speech of Bola Metinubu on May 29, 2023, where he said subsidy is gone, was seen as the end of the matter, as the red line was drawn about for subsidy. Now, Erufa is saying that Bola Metinubu is paying for a subsidy, and he's paying as high as about eight trillion. Now, what uh, Erufa said to someone like me is not a surprise because even the World Bank and the IMF recently told Nigerian government that it must remove 
fuel subsidy totally. Which means the IMF and the World Bank are aware that we are still paying subsidy. So the government of Bola Metinibu was being deceptive in telling Nigerians that he doesn't pay for a subsidy. He doesn't pay for a subsidy. That's what they told us. That's why they are telling us that the states are washed with cash. That state governors are getting more money than ever before because first subsidy had been removed. Now, we are being told by Erofi, somebody who is a chieftain of APC, somebody who is in a position to know, somebody who has a wide network that subsidy is being paid. Now, the IMF told us that federal government of Nigeria is still paying subsidy. Now, the big question is this. Who is federal government paying the subsidy to? Who is the recipient of this subsidy of the federal government? You know that the reason why fuel subsidy was a contentious issue in Nigeria was because of the corruption involved in fuel subsidy. That was why virtually every Nigerian, especially the elite, wanted for a subsidy to go. But now, for subsidy is back. So who are they paying the first subsidy to? Can we have transparency in this first subsidy regime that we have now under Bola Medinobo? That is the question that needs to be answered, that needs clarification. It's not just about the payment. The payment of fuel subsidy, I for one want fuel subsidy to be paid. Because all over the world, fuel are being subsidized. In United States of America, there is fuel subsidy. In Saudi Arabia, there is fuel subsidy. In Germany, there are fuel subsidy. And there are so many subsidies. Subsidies in agriculture, subsidies in uh, uh, in the renewable energy sector. Governments all over the world are providing subsidies to make life easier for the people and to encourage investment in certain sectors. The only reason why subsidies are an issue in Nigeria is because of the corruption in subsidy regime. It was because of this corruption or what people be called the criminality in the subsidy regime that was why many Nigerians kicked against it, that it should go. But the truth be told, subsidy is supposed to be there for Nigerians. Subsidy is necessary. Subsidy is the only way that the average Nigerian can benefit anything from government. Now that there is, the, the government claimed that there is no subsidy, it is expected that those people who benefit from subsidy are suffering. And exactly that's what is happening. Nigerians are suffering because there, there was no subsidy. But now we know that despite our suffering that there is no subsidy on petrol, we are still paying for subsidy. So what is important is to find out those who have been paid this subsidy so that we can know how transparent the process is. Because Aerofire said that we are even paying higher than ever before. But this is not the first time that an APC administration lie, is lying through its teeth about fuel subsidy. Remember when Buhari came in, in 2015, they said there is no subsidy, that subsidy is a scam. That's what Buhari said, say, what is subsidy? Subsidy is a scam. They say they don't pay subsidy, that they have cancelled subsidy. But they were paying subsidy behind our back. And they call it under recovery. It was former Vice President, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, that was sent out to be telling that narrative that what they pay is under recovery. And they don't, that they pay it to NMPC. But before they left, we, they were, we now discovered they were paying trillions 
of Naira as subsidy. So we have entered the same deception now. But the important thing about this is that there is a need for clarity to know who, who are being paid the subsidy. Which companies are being paid? Is it NNPC? Even if it is NNPC, we need to know how much are being paid to them. Monthly, uh, quarterly, and what have you. Nigerians need to know how much are being paid as subsidy to NNPC. If they are the one, they are the only ones being paid so this subsidy we are talking about. Because if this is not thoroughly explained, it means that we have also entered one chance again. We have some few elite will be feeding large on the resources of this country under the guise of first subsidy. Interestingly, since Erofai made that statement, the government of Bola Medinubu had not had the courage of his own conviction to challenge him. Similarly, when the World Bank and the IMF say that the Bola Medinubu administration should fully remove fuel subsidy and uh, subsidy on tariff, on electricity tariff. They didn't say anything to challenge the IMF. By their silence, it means that the federal government of Nigeria is admitting that it is paying subsidy. But federal government of Nigeria, being an elected government, is accountable to the people. That, that is therefore the need, the reason why they should begin to tell Nigerians those they paid the subsidy to. And since when? Because right from May 29, the, the administration said that no more subsidy. So when did they start paying the subsidy? And who did they pay it to? This is a, these are questions that demand answers. And if they don't give answers to this question, they will give answer, they will receive the response of Nigerians in 2027. I'm sure of that. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video because when you like it, God will rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.